Well, hello and welcome to another FSD video. I just got the latest update, FSD Beta 10.69.2.3, and I thought I would show you around my residential neighborhood. The occupancy network upgrade is incredible. So come along on this short drive as we go through a neighborhood with unmarked roads and lots and lots of things on the side because it's garbage day. And let's check out the new occupancy network or the improved occupancy network and see what an amazing improvement it really is. And as you can see here, so there we have our latest FSD release, uh, the suspensions, if anybody got in trouble. <laughs> But here are our latest FSD update notes, and I apologize for the glare. As you can see, overall improved driving, improved unprotected left turns, added control for arbitrary low speeds, and the upgraded occupancy network is really what I want to show you. So I'll scroll through here and let you see some of the other improvements. As you can see, lots and lots of things happened. So we're going to take you along for the ride as we check out this latest FSD update and see how it does, and check out the really cool occupancy network. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll be bringing you more. Okay, hey, you are joining me here just a few miles from my home, about 1.3 miles from my house, and we are gonna have an approximately four minute drive on FSD. And again, I want you to see the occupancy network, and as we travel, I will point out how incredible some of these new visuals are. So let's get rolling. And the car is saying I can go into FSD. So I have engaged FSD and we are gonna let it take us on a drive home. I would encourage you to pay attention to the screen as we travel and you're going to see what these occupancy network upgrades look like. All right, we're gonna make a left-hand turn here. We're just waiting our turn and Amos is going. All right, let's go Amos. And we're gonna go through here at a slower speed today because again, I want uh, you to get an idea or a sense for this latest update. Very impressed. I just drove home from Bellingham on it and it does seem more confident, much more confident as a matter of fact, and um, handled some situations that the older update didn't like as much, uh, including roundabouts. So we're gonna approach up here, we're gonna go through a winding area, and the car, again, no radar, we've got a little mini medium here, the car sees it and missed it, very good job. Weird blinker. I always can't understand why it uses its blinker through here, but you know, hey. So we can see the car is definitely seeing these low curbs. Occupancy network again, we see some people beside us. We're slowing down for the roundabout. This is a weird behavior that hasn't improved and needs to. Uh, we're waiting on the Explorer. And now we're gonna see if the car goes around this or attempts to drive over it, and it wanted to drive over it. So. Uh, I think because that one is so low to the ground, we have an issue with the car seeing it for what it really is, which is a medium and a roundabout. But we're gonna reset, and now we're gonna go through some snaking corners, and then we're gonna get onto roads with no lines, but lots of things occupying both shoulders. And we're gonna see those on our screen as we roll through here. So as you can see, car's handling these corners very well. Uh, a little embarrassed I had to intervene back there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amos, but you just were going to hit the curb. Uh, here we're transitioning onto roads with no markings, so no lines, and we're going to watch the car as it travels through a residential area. I want you to pay attention to all the garbage cans showing up and also the unformed blobs, if you can see them. Those unformed blobs are things occupying the road um, they just haven't been fully labeled or identified yet. Now that was a strange slowdown. We didn't need to do that, but the car obviously was a little concerned about going around this corner. There we can see they pop up and you can see again, as we travel through here, what an amazing job Tesla Vision is doing in identifying and labeling all of the non-road using items that are occupying the space or occupancy network. So again, as we roll through here, you don't need to change lanes to follow a different, to follow a route car. We're gonna slow down just slightly. 
And again, we're, we're seeing all of the things that the cameras are picking up, labeling, and again, just incredible what they're doing with this occupancy network. The occupancy network is telling the car, like I said, all of the things that are occupying areas around it, but are not cars themselves. Those show up as different items. Again, we can see all of these cans showing up. Very impressive. Beautiful view of the water, a little smoky. Again, we get close, but we don't hit them. And I'm just, again, I cannot remark how impressed I am with the level of Tesla vision. Again, we're going to roll through here. We're just about at our destination. Again, I told you it was a short video, but I wanted you to get a general sense of how well the car is doing uh, in identifying different things on the road. And again, to give you another sense of that, let's just take a short drive up to the top of the street. And we can see all of the items far out in front of us that Amos has identified as part of either the occupancy network with the garbage cans or these unformed little lumps or uh, parked vehicles here next to us on the road. So we're gonna turn around and I hope you enjoyed this little video. Again, didn't want to make it overly long. Wanted to give my first impressions. And I have to say, uh, first impressions of this latest FSD build, very good. And um, the occupancy network just continues to blow my mind. So thank you for joining me. And I'd love it if you would hit that like and subscribe. We can keep growing the channel. Have a wonderful day and be on the lookout for some shorts coming from me as we travel to Disneyland over the weekend.